mysterious period this is. Oh, hi, and welcome to another episode of LP and Laundry. First time, here's how it works. I play one side of an unusual record we talked about a little bit before, and possibly a little during, and over the course of it, I'll fold some laundry. It's not really about the laundry, but I have been told that it is... Oddly compelling. This week! Well, if you are watching this on or near its original release, uh, it is May in the year 2020. We are still in a shelter and home place, at least in places that value human life. Um, and uh, the stress is starting to show. I know that Minnesota, the, the, uh, the social distancing grade has gone from an A down to a D. People are getting a little more lax about things like, I don't know, not breathing on each other. Uh, so it's a little stressful, right? You know what time it is? It's time for some relaxing with Lenny D. That's right, we're going to have some music comfort food with uh, arguably the patron saint of LPN Laundry, uh, high five swinging organist and uh, well-dressed man, Lenny D. Now, this, uh, this record is a bit of a rarity among the Lenny D catalog. I think, I think, I could be wrong, but I think... This is the first Lenny D record without a persuasive essay, right? Every other Lenny D record, just about, I think there may have been one other in the past, uh, has had some sort of description of just who Lenny is, perhaps a little bit about the particulars of recording that particular album. Not in this case. No, all we know is it's Lenny D and... Who is this to Lenny D? We don't know. Is, she, is it a model? Uh, is it a friend? Perhaps it's his wife. We really don't know. I mean, it's, I'm sure the D family probably knows uh, some particulars about that. By the way, uh, if anybody knows <laughs> anybody from the Lenny D family, uh, please let me know. Because I would love to talk to them uh, and see if maybe they have recordings of Lenny D's live act, which apparently is hysterical. But all we get here is the music. I've listened to the first track uh, of, of this particular record, and uh, it is in kind of the old school version of Lenny D, which is really just him and the organ and a relatively small combo. Later Lenny D records have a lot of lush orchestration around it. This one is still in that bare bones organ, drums, whatnot. I mean, who knows, by the, by the fifth track of this side, there could be harps involved. I really don't know. I haven't listened that far. Uh, neither of you, unless you're as much of a, even more of a Lenny D aficionado as I am. Um, but let's discover, right? Let's do some relaxing with Lenny D. Oh, first track will be Cabaret.
up is Yellow Days. Next up, Dreamsville.
except dancing in the streets. going out of my head.
fade out. Last up, Exodus. And another fade out from Lenny D. I think usually he kind of sticks a landing on most of these songs, but that one just kind of faded out. Perhaps because the jam was just too tasty for them to try to find an ending, and so they just decided to just kind of let it go, right? Sort of like how in the Beatles song, Got to Get You Into My Life, it fades out just as things are really starting to hop. Who knows? Who knows what happened? How much relaxing was going on? Uh, well, that was a heck of a lot of fun. I got the sense, by the way, that, that maybe those tracks were recorded in different sessions. Like, w there was one track that did sound very heavily orchestrated, usually the ones with the vocalist, but then this one had electric, electric guitars. Uh, the first one sounded a little bit different. It was, very, it was, I think it was probably just him and percussionists. All over the place with this particular record for Lenny D. Lenny D, a man arguably at the peak of his powers, probably, uh, although uh, the airbrushing, maybe not at the peak of his hairline. But what are you going to do? Nowadays, you can just shave it. But then, unless you were going to become a monk, was it an option? Thank you, as always, for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also, of course, share, share, share. Let more people know that there's this weird video where a guy is playing an unusual record, and you get to watch him fold laundry and make funny comments down in the bottom. It's oddly compelling, right? If you would like to connect with me on Facebook, 
Uh, you can uh, go, oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that I do take pictures of the front and back cover. Those get posted to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash LP Laundry. No and or ampersand in there. It is just facebook.com slash LP Laundry. Uh, there is also an archive of each video that I post to YouTube along with the images for the, uh, for the front and back cover. Uh, those are at mattfugate.blogspot.com. Dot com. Once again, that is mattfugate.blogspot.com. Other than that, just make sure you stay home if you can. Work from home if you can. Wash your hands just as frequently as you did two months ago. Just because it's working doesn't mean you have to stop. Oh, and try to do some.